<coughs> Gentlemen, first and first, I want to say, yo, I want to say shout out to everybody that I've been watching, man. Thank you so much, and I love you guys, all right? Thank you so much. My name is Pierre, okay? I, I look forward to know you guys, okay? Save yourself the embarrassment. And just stay single. My ex-wife used to embarrass me a lot. I remember we was in drive through I forgot what I was arguing about. It was just embarrassing. When a woman disrespects you in public, even if that's a lingo, they're a woman, they're not mean, but the way they act, the way they talk, seems mean. Some are mean, some are not mean. I spice something come to my head. Earlier I seen this thing on Instagram, I spice and I think case or not. And uh he he told her to freestyle, but she started twerking instead. That tells you a lot about women today. Some women. Um save yourself the embarrassment and stay single. We live in a time, sadly, where single is best. Um, I'm going to make a video about this, but let me talk about it now. We live in it. Like, you know, I was married. I wish nobody knew I was married. Because now the shit that she be doing is embarrassing. I had some, I don't want to say friends, some people in my life... I feel like I've been beyond all my life because I had cousins. They didn't post each other on, the, on on social media, but they was happily married. They just live a private life. Now, 12 years later, I see why they did that. Because when something happened, like during the divorce, I mean, I didn't go online. Well, I didn't do it. I'm pretty sure she did. I didn't go online and talk about it. After everything is finalized, I start going to YouTube and talk talk about it. But I wasn't talking about her. I wasn't talking about about the kids. It's just because it's embarrassing. What am I going to say? Fuck this bitch. This bitch did this. No, I'm going to make a fool out of myself. I got kids. There's nothing to say. And it's best to not say nothing. <sighs> Gentlemen, we live in a time... Sadly, if you are in a relationship, it's best to keep it on the low. Meaning, don't tell people, this is my girl, I love her, we get married, we've been dating, blah, 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 blah. You are setting yourself up for embarrassment. Because if she change on you, because people change, you might change on her. They be like, yo, and that, and that uh, Larry girl, damn, look at Larry girl over there. Larry girl kissing, hugging, all type of stuff, and all the guys making you look bad. I know friends, they married. I mean, co-workers, I don't really have friends like that. And they're also low-key. They don't even post a lot of pictures of them. They don't post pictures of the kids. They leave it in the house sadly some women nowadays they have no shame i don't want to be specific with my situation but women have no shame they're not even divorced yet. they are here kissing other dudes i'm like come on now they are here showing up cleavage twerking in the videos talking about divorce poorly we are sad we are we <laughs> Both men and women, we live in a sad world. All right, so all right, so what do we, what are we talking about? Save yourself and the embarrassment and stay single. What does that mean? That mean you with a girl, instead of going on social media, telling all your friends and family about it. Yo, mommy, I love her, I love her. She's the girl, she's so nice, she's so nice, so nice. And then you go back to your mommy the next day. Mommy, she broke my heart. Oh, daddy, you broke me out. She broke my heart. She's a thought. We live in a world, we live in a time, sadly. It's best to just 
Don't tell, don't let nobody know if you seen them, somebody. Don't let nobody know. Just stay single, really. But if you are seeing somebody, it's best to just keep it on the low. That way they don't embarrass you. My ex-wife was embarrassing me every, everywhere I go and every word she says, a curse word, curse word, curse word. And then, you know, because, you know, I work one with people all the time. And then, you know, she smoke, I don't smoke. I was like, yo, I don't want to be on one you one because I'm, I'm going to be one white people. And you always know the stereotype. I don't want them to smell that shit on me. And then she get, then she get offended. She's just embarrassing. Came and take her to my Christian parents' house because she can't she can keep the curse word down for five seconds. Every word is a curse word. Before you come for me, she wasn't always like that. Women are not always like that. Women change to what they hear. That's why I've been pushing in all my videos. Gentlemen, listen. You meet a woman today. She great, she amazing. You might love her today. And tomorrow, she be brand new. Today, she might be, I love you. I'm crazy about you. Tomorrow, she be like, nigga, please. <sighs> Gentlemen, maybe ladies too. I come before you with this message as a friend, as a brother. And this is stuff I learn. I'm single right now. Nobody can hurt me but me. And I don't want to hurt myself because I love myself. Um, you mean well, gentlemen. That's why I say gentlemen, because I'm not making videos from, for bums or players or, you know. You mean well. You want to be with a girl. You want to love her. Give her your heart, start a family, you know, start saving. You want you to do all that with her, but sadly, those times are dead. Those times do not exist no more. Meaning, yeah, you will find that, but tomorrow she want to do that with somebody else. So, if you do want to be in a relationship, I know you just met a girl, you're excited. Calm down before you go post a picture Post picture of your holding. Save, your, save yourself. Save yourself the embarrassment. Because tomorrow she'll be like, yo, we were just friends. And then she don't friends on your ass and you over here looking like a fool. And, and women like to play games. And again, I'm not, you know, I love women. I'm not here. My video is not about disrespect, you know, bashing women. It's really up to uplift men, you know, give them the game. Something nobody gave me, yo, I had to learn this the hard way. You're welcome. Gentlemen, and again, I speak to gentlemen. <sighs> like I said, you have good intentions. You want to be a good man. You want to love. You want to care. You want to provide. <sighs> but sadly, those type of men that you are don't do well in society. The odds is very against you. All right.